Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we will see solved problem number 3 in SQL. Let's step into the question now. Here is the question. Which of the following statements are true about an SQL query? There are four statements mentioned. Statement P, an SQL query can contain having clause even if it does not have a group by clause. Statement Q, an SQL query can contain a having clause only if it has a group by clause. Statement R, all attributes used in the group by clause must appear in the select clause. And statement S, not all the attributes used in the group by clause need to appear in the select clause. This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2012. The options are, option A, P and R are true. Option B, P and S are true. Option C, Q and R are true. And option D, Q and S are true. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. Before solving this problem, let's quickly recapture the having clause example that we had seen earlier. Here is the example that we had seen earlier. And in this example, we have an employee table. And the query that we use to understand the having clause is this. What is this query? This is the query to find the number of employees belonging to each city. Remember, number of employees belonging to each city, which is this. And we filtered the output by giving a condition using having clause. And the condition is, count of employees from each city is greater than or is equal to 2. So for this query, we got the output as 3, 2 for Bangalore and Chennai respectively. Because there are 3 employees who are from the same city Bangalore, there are 2 employees who are from the same city Chennai, from this table employee. If we want to provide a condition with group by clause, we use the keyword having or we use the clause having and this having mostly will be associated with the aggregate function in the condition. With this knowledge, let's step into the question now. If you analyze all these statements, we can see there are some statements that are true, there are some statements that are false. But I would request you to note that this question needs to be answered with respect to standard SQL and not related to any particular implementation such as Oracle, MySQL or Postgres. To be precise, this question should be answered with respect to standard SQL. Let me tell you why I am telling like this. Because in implementations like Oracle and MySQL, we can use having clause without even using group by clause. So, each record is treated as one record when group by clause doesn't exist. But as per standard SQL, Having clause should be used only with group by clause. This is the reason I told you to consider this question based on standard SQL, not with respect to any particular implementations like Oracle or MySQL or Postgres. So, please be mindful before answering these kind of questions. So, when we consider standard SQL, it's clear that having clause should be used along with group by clause, meaning having cannot be used without group by clause. So, P will become false as far as standard SQL because an SQL query can contain having clause even if does not have a group by clause which is valid for implementations like Oracle or MySQL but not with the standard SQL. So, P is false. So, in the options, if you shortlist option A and option B, we can ignore. The reason being P is not true. I mean P is false. The question is all about true. So, we can ignore option A and B. So, we have shortlisted only option C and D. Let's go to statement Q, R and S. Let's analyze them. Coming to Q, an SQL query can contain a having clause only if it has a group by clause, which is true. That's what I told you. So, this is for standard SQL. So, Q is considered to be true. When we shortlist C and D, both contains Q. So, we need to figure out whether R is true or S is true. Let's start with R. All attributes used in group by clause must appear in the select clause. You can see here, all attributes used in the group by clause is appearing in the select clause. Can you see here, select is containing an attribute or a column that is actually used by group by. If we don't use it, 
we will just get only count ID and we don't know which city has which count, isn't it? So it's an ideal understanding that all attributes used in group by clause must appear in the select clause is as per standard SQL. So we consider R to be true. So the answer for this question is option C, Q and R. But before confirming that, let's quickly understand option S as well. Not all attributes used in the group by clause need to appear in the select clause. So this is invalid as far as standard SQL is concerned. We expect all attributes used in the group by clause must appear in the select clause. And that's why as far as standard SQL is concerned, we consider S to be false. So the right answer for this question is option C, Q and R are true. Before I conclude, I have solved this problem based on standard SQL, which is not specific to any implementations like Oracle or MySQL or Postgres. I hope the session is informative. I'll see you in the next presentation and thank you for watching.